Ethical hackers and penetration testers are white hat hackers, and it's important to understand the general phases of hacking and how each phase is typically aligned to penetration testing. During any penetration testing training, you'll encounter the five phases of hacking. As shown, a penetration tester performs reconnaissance on the targeted system, network, or organization to collect as much information as possible to better understand the attack surface of the target before moving forward and launching an attack to compromise the target. In this video, you will learn more about the purpose of each phase and how it aligns with ethical hacking and penetration testing. A reconnaissance, commonly referred to as the information gathering phase, is where the threat actor focuses on acquiring meaningful information about their target. The collected information is analyzed to create context and develop a profile about the targeted system, network, or organization. The collected information helps the threat actor better understand the target's attack surface and acquire specific exploits that are suitable for compromising targeted systems. The hackers use many techniques for reconnaissance, like using the search engine, performing Google Door using social engineering techniques, and much more. During this phase, the objective is to gather as much information as possible about the target. The second phase of hacking is scanning. Scanning involves using a direct approach via active reconnaissance in engaging the target to obtain information that is not accessible via passive information gathering techniques. This phase also involves profiling the targeted organization, its systems and network infrastructure by sending specially crafted probes to the target. During this phase, hackers check for open ports, firewalls, perform host discovery, and much more. This phase is very important as it helps us improve the profile of the target. The information found in this phase will help us move on to performing exploitation on the targeted system or network. This phase can sometimes be the most challenging phase of all. During this phase, the hackers use information obtained from the previous phases to either craft an exploit or acquire one from online sources that are designed to compromise the security vulnerability of the target. In addition, hackers need to test the exploit to ensure it's working as expected before delivering and executing it on the targeted system. After gaining access to the targeted system, the hackers retrieve passwords, escalate privileges, and transfer additional payloads and malwares. Once an exploit is successful and system access is acquired, the next phase is to ensure hackers expand their foothold on the compromised system and network. After gaining access to a system, hackers usually attempt to implement additional backdoors on the compromised system to expand their foothold. In addition, the threat actor usually performs lateral movement on the network by compromising other systems and setting up backdoors for persistent access to the victim's network. Therefore, if a compromised system is offline, the attacker can attempt to remotely connect to another to regain access to the targeted network. Maintaining access is important to ensure that you, the penetration tester, always have access to the targeted system systems or network. Once the technical aspect of the penetration test is completed, it's time to clean up the network. The last phase is to cover your tracks. This ensures that you do not leave any traces of your presence on a compromised system or network. As penetration testers, we would like to be as undetectable as possible on a targeted network, not triggering any alerts on security sensors and appliances while we remove any residual traces of the actions performed during the penetration test. Covering your tracks ensures that you don't leave any trace of your presence on the network, as a penetration test is designed to be stealthy and simulate real-world attacks on an organization to both identify hidden security vulnerabilities and test the effectiveness of the cyber defenses of the organization. Understanding these five phases is crucial for both ethical hackers and penetration testers. By mastering reconnaissance, scanning, exploitation, persistence, and covering tracks, you'll gain a solid foundation in the hacking lifecycle. Remember, the goal is to always use these skills ethically and responsibly to protect systems and data. If you found this video useful, please have a subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more cybersecurity and ethical hacking-related content.